and I also had to park the car all sexy. Why? You want some chai or what? Desperately. I might have some in the give thermos, me, 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 me. but I almost had you back there. What? You never had me. You never had this thar. And oh, right. We're uh, working, making a video. video. Uh, doing what? Comparing these two? I know what you're thinking. They are as different as they can be. It's like comparing apples to oranges. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to see how close the Scorpio N can get to what the Thar can do out here. And by here, I mean one of the main places where these two learned how to become off-roaders. Mahindra's Off-Road Academy in Igatpuri. The slushy, mucky, rocky, climby expanse is designed to push hardened off-roaders to their breaking point. And it's where we'll see the difference between daddy and granddaddy. And it all begins here. Welcome to the home run. This is always the tricky bit of being able to see exactly where it is that you're going. This is quite a deep dive. Okay, that looked quite easy for the car, honestly. Like a cakewalk. The Scorpio is going to have just a little bit of trouble over here. I think it's just the size of it plus... Rather the departure is going to be tricky. Okay, that was pretty easy for the Thar. Uh, see if you can manage it in the Scorpio. Alright, here goes nothing. Front cross member kind of brushed and uh, spare wheel. If you want to do off roady bits, get a lift kit and rearrange or reposition rather the spare wheel. It isn't here anymore, it's somewhere here. Ah, it looks so easy for the Thar. But good job, Scorpio. Good job. A little tiptoeing, but the Scorpio did it. And was at ease on the second one, the zigzag hill. Arun being Arun was feeling a little cocky, so I had to amp up the stakes. Since you said you wanted to make this interesting, how about we do this entire run but against a stopwatch? Anytime your car hits something or makes contact anyway because of driver or car, five seconds get added to your time. Sounds fair. Sounds fair. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Steering position indicators are real boon on these parts. Whoa! So, Rigved sir, who do you think will win? I think the Thar will win. One minute, 48 seconds, 14. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm gonna keep my ego aside. The penalties will cost quite a lot. Cheerleading is not helping. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Come on, Scorpio. That's five seconds added, right? <laughs> five second time penalty. 
It's a five second time penalty. Again, I told you. Either because of driver or because of the car. You do not damage the vehicles. It's not. I've not hit anything. We literally saw it. Sewing. Are it's the deflector. It will hit anywhere. तू स्पीड पे है इसलिए तू अगर आराम तू अगर तू अगर आराम से जाता तो नहीं घसता वो दिस इज नॉट ऑन द कार इट्स ऑन यू इट्स ऑन यू बट ए गुड यस कॉपी इट रियली वेल व्हाट वाज द टाइम वेल यू वर बीटिंग मी बट आई क्रॉस द फिनिश लाइन एंड देन आई हिट इट्स 14110 ओ आई आई स्टिल विन आई स्टिल विन 14110 हां ओके यस No, I don't like the damage cars. That's so cool. It's not damaged. Look at the alignment. It's off. <laughs> Your face's alignment is off. <laughs> Whatever. Off-roading isn't about speed anyway. Arun was gloating a little too much now, so naturally I had to wipe the smile off his face. Okay, so Arun, I think the Scorpios managed to cope up quite easily so far, but uh, like you said, I feel like it's not being challenged enough. So follow me. I don't know where he's taking me but I know he's evil so here goes nothing Before Arun finds out let me tell you we're just taking the uh, zaggier line on the zigzag hill heart rates will rise and egos will drop I don't think we should follow the thar in there Yeah we shouldn't I wish I could do that. While you're at Tusha, can you tell me why the Scorpio can't do that? Honestly, dude, it's a simple function of the car's size. The larger wheelbase of the Scorpio. and all things accounted for it would land up bottoming out over there and probably getting stuck because this was kind of tricky even for the thar thankfully the obstacles that followed next gave the scorpio n opportunities to flex again it rushed through the pond rush which honestly was just slush and in search of a replacement tushar found a pond that was about as deep as pitbull's lyrics all right arun have got a little Water crossing for you. That's not a water crossing, Tushar. It's a lot of water in Mumbai. Mein rehta hai. Okay, that was a lot shallower than I was expecting. Uh, we keep going ahead. There is one proper water crossing ahead. You'll see. You'll see. Luckily for Tushar, a real challenge presented itself seconds later. While the thar can wade through more water, the bigger issue for the Scorpio here is the water that will get into the cabin. Carpeted floors versus plastic matting with drain plugs. You do the math. The Scorpio was forced to take an easier line through a series of monstrous humps, which rewarded the thar's short wheelbase. Pleased by his success, Tushar decided to ruin everything. So, what are you going to do now? चल हमें से बात करते वंस ही वॉज विंस्ड आउट कुड वी रिज्यूम सीरियस जर्नलिज्म We then spent some time mucking about, trying to find harder challenges for the Scorpio N, but save for some more monitored driving through narrow trails, a little more patience through sharp descents, and a little more throttle on scary ascents, the Scorpio N didn't feel outside of its element. And all of this while running on highway terrain tires compared to the Thar's all terrains. Finally, we came to Sir Punch. an obstacle that tests every angle of each car and even climbing up on foot needs some calculations the thar clawed its way ahead only struggling for a bit of grip on some smooth stone the scorpio's longer wheelbase proved to be the achilles heel here but only just Getting past the main climb, the side step found itself getting sandwiched. So the Scorpio had to run a much wider line to avoid the articulation ditch. From there on, Daddy was comfortable and stood confident, knowing it had managed to do 80% of what the Thar did. 
and while Tushar and I were understandably rooting for the cars we drove, both of us were genuinely surprised by how much the Scorpio could take on. Like we said at the beginning, we weren't really looking to do a, you know, typical comparison review because we weren't expecting the Scorpio N to do everything that the Thar can. But there's a simple way of putting this. Everything that the Thar does easily, the Scorpio N 4x4 also does easily. On those challenges where the Thar has to be a Thar is where the Scorpio N has to back out. And that needs to be put in a little bit of a context. You see, going off-road or having the 4x4 ability is one of the things that the Scorpio N does, right? It's primarily meant to be a rugged family seven-seater SUV and it does a damn good job of that. And wherever it did get caught out today, it's primarily because of its size, isn't it? Correct. So, let's say for example, you're a family car buyer and you wanted an SUV for your family but also something that can genuinely go off-road. We're not just talking about your farmhouse stuff, something with the actual capability but you always felt like getting a Thar would be, for the want of a better word, selfish. The Scorpio N will not disappoint. But if you want that thoroughbred off-road or something that will genuinely be a toy that will make you every time you go out like super duper happy, it has to be the Thar. I mean, toys don't get better than the Mahindra Thar. And that brings me into a question. What do you think the Fido Thar will be like? Oh wait, what will you call it? Armada? <laughs>